Hey everyone, this is Ryan Stunkel from Blip Sounds, and we are going to be showing you how to make a whoosh sound effect in Reaper. If you want to learn more about Reaper, we have a free course on blipsounds.com that teaches you the basics of Reaper and the basics of FMOD and Unity. So what you're going to do to create this whoosh sound is create a new track and go to our effects. You're going to have all these effects here. You're going to type in white noise and you're going to click on JS white noise generator. But before you do that, make sure that you mute your track because it's going to be really loud and obnoxious. So go ahead and double click on this. What we're actually going to do is make sure to turn on the volume real quick because you're going to hear how loud this is. So as you can hear, it's actually just generating pure white noise. So we're actually going to lower the volume quite low so that we can still hear it and you guys can hear me over it and it doesn't destroy our ears. So what we're going to actually do on top of this is we're actually going to hit control and click across our track here and it's going to create an untitled MIDI item. And then all you have to do is right click and hit apply track take effects to items as new take. This will take all of our track effects that are here and it will apply them directly to this MIDI item. So just hit that. And now we can remove our white noise generator by hitting remove after clicking on it. And now when we hit play, we have our white noise directly applied to our MIDI item and we can move it around freely. So. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go back to our effects and instead of white noise generator, we're going to type in the letters E and Q, which is going to bring up our re-EQ equalizer. So all they have to do is take this four here, which is covering the higher frequencies of our equalizer. You just click and drag it downwards. And if we listen to our equalizer again, we can hear that it's a lot less harsh. And we can hear what it sounded like before and after by simply clicking on this checkbox here. That was without, and that's with. Let's go ahead and boost our volume back up to zero decibels again. The last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add fades. And all you have to do to add fades is click on the top right and top left of your MIDI item. And you can see that we're adding fades right here. So let's go ahead and listen to that. So as you can hear, we are actually getting a, a, a very light fade in. However, it's going a little bit slowly, so we want this to be a lot faster. So we're just going to crunch the outside of our MIDI item just to make it a little bit shorter, and let's play it. We can also change our fades here. You can right click on them, and you can change the type of fade. This fade is a representation of our volume over time, so it has an exponential curve now. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit shorter as well. Let's go ahead and listen to that. I'm just going to also lower the frequency of our low pass filter to cover more high frequencies. And as you can see, we can also manipulate the fades of our sound effect here by simply changing the size and the length of our fades. See, now it's much faster and you can use that for a punch sound effect. Feel free to experiment with more of the equalizer to get unique sounds from your whoosh sound effect. You can see just by playing with this equalizer and moving different bands of the equalizer into different locations, we can get entirely new sounds. So I hope that helps, and I hope you guys have fun experimenting. If you guys are looking for more experience with sound design for video games, come and join the Game Audio Training Series on blipsounds.com. You can read all about it there. And if you're not sure about it yet, check out our free course as well. We go over the basics of Reaper and FMOD. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys there.